Hi everyone, it's Abby Shenneman. While I believe everyone can gain something from the word I have today, this is specifically for the parents. I'm a young mom myself and God has encouraged me time and time again through His word and by His spirit. When I was eight months pregnant with our daughter, my husband and I decided to attend a worship night. I was incredibly tired, and if I'm being honest, I was pretty discouraged. Our oldest was waking up four to five times a night, and honestly, I felt consumed by the idea of bringing another baby into the world and starting this process all over again. I was desperate for God to meet me there that night and lift my eyes again. Sure enough, the opening song that night was the exact song I had sung to my son every night at bedtime. It was as if God was saying, I have not missed a moment. I have seen you. In John 1, 48, Jesus told Nathanael that he saw him under the fig tree. It's possible this is where Nathanael would seek to know more about God. Maybe he was in prayer or meditating on God's word. But the point being, no one else was around. Yet, Jesus reassures Nathanael that he saw him. Even in the quiet, secret places, we can be assured that when we seek the Lord, we will not only find him, but also that the Lord sees us. For the parents who spend countless hours changing diapers, rocking babies to sleep, God has seen every single moment and been there with you. In the places that feel unseen, that maybe go thankless at times or feel extremely ordinary, they're actually profoundly important because God sees you and His presence is with you. When you've been in a quiet nursery whispering prayers to Jesus, that has been so significant. For the working parents who maybe feel guilty for leaving your spouse with children all day or maybe the slight sting of a school drop off. Or maybe you're the parent who feels that they only get the hardest parts of the day with their children. You can be sure that God sees your sacrifice and He's pleased with you. You are loving and providing for your family and most importantly, God is both with you and with them. 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Your children are both a gift and a blessing from the Lord. You can be encouraged that you are doing kingdom work. Even if the world tells you that you're missing out, your kids are exhausting, etc., etc., turn these voices off and be confident that your children are your greatest ministry. And not a moment, not a single sacrifice has been in vain. The Lord is pleased with you. Let me pray for you. Jesus, we love you so much and I thank you that you see us. I pray, Lord, that you would encourage someone today that they would be confident and know that absolutely nothing about parenthood or being married is lost on you, Jesus. I pray, Father, that you would speak to us and encourage us. Thank you, Lord. Amen.